Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. I just want to say, I hope everybody's out there being safe, washing their hands, practicing social distancing, because that is very important right now. And I hope everybody's out there staying safe. But let's get off into the project. So in this project, we're going to make a phone stand. If you haven't saw the first phone stand I did, I will link it up above. See, I'm making a new phone stand because the file that I had for this phone stand, it was in an old computer. And that computer is gone. Yep, it's, it's gone. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it back. I tried to get it back, but I don't think I'm going to get it back. And if this is your first time seeing this handsome face, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new projects. Okay, here's the design right here. It has a lot of motivational quotes on it, just like I like my stands to have, because when your phone is not on it, you know, it's just sitting right there. So you can just read some of the motivational quotes and it might cheer you up for some one day. I don't know. Or anybody might cheer anybody up. This is it. I know it's in reverse. Probably hard to read right here, but I will show y'all the results in the finish product watch this video to the end because this phone stand has a second talent because I really like it and I know y'all gonna love it it's gonna take this in gray 18 minutes and 47 seconds Then we gotta peel the mask and all. I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape to do that because we got a lot of small parts in here. So let's get to it. Okay, before I show y'all this phone stand, when I tell you, phone stand 2.0, this is so dope. I want to show a quick comparison between the first version and 2.0. The first thing that I want to point out is when you turn both of them to the side and you line them up, you can see version 2 is slanted just a little bit more further back than version 1. Okay, the second thing I want to point out is instead of doing sharp edges around the acrylic, I ended up rounding the corners off a little bit so it won't have a sharp edge on it. The third thing that I want to point out that's different is on version 1, I ended up engraving on the front of the acrylic right here. But version 2, that's why I had put it in reverse in the design software and I engraved on the back so that the front side is clear and it'll be easy to keep clean. And the most important, the reason why I got it slanted back a little bit further on version 2 than version 1, when I made the first version, I had a case on my phone. So when I put a case on it, it would easily stay on version 1. It would not fall. But if you don't have a case on it, if you tend to move it, it eventually comes off like that. But version two, no case at all on the phone. And, it's, and it fits directly on it and you can move it around and all sorts of stuff like that. Hey, hold up, I promise y'all, if you watch this video to the end, that this phone stand had a second talent. Come on now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project.